You know, I went to Vince one time and I was like, hey, Vince, like, I kind of had this idea. I was thinking about being a bad guy. He was like, okay, well, let's see your bad guy face. <laughs> and so I was like, is that it? Hold on, hold on, I'm going to get ready. Okay. So I was like, okay. And then I started laughing. <laughs> Uh, all right, so yesterday was a big day for you, 13 years. Yes. Congratulations yeah. on that. Thank you, thank you so much. I actually, I had no idea, and I think I woke up uh, yesterday morning to all these tweets, and they were like, oh, it's your 13 years, it's your 13 years, and I was just like, oh my gosh, time has just flown by. I mean, it's so crazy to think. Does it feel like a thousand years ago? <laughs> yes, it makes me feel very old, okay? No, you're not old. No, I'm 32, but. Yeah. <laughs> Still. But that is crazy, though, <laughs> that you started your WWE career at 19. I know. The youngest WWE diva ever. So. And those are like the formidable years, like 18, 19, 20, uh, you know, in yeah. the early 20s. Mm -hmm. So you kind of like went to the school of WWE. Oh, I got thrown into the wolves, that's for sure. Um, you know, I definitely just had to grow up at a very young age, and I had to have a really thick skin. Um, I had to move out on my own. I had to experience what it was like doing my own laundry and like <laughs> just stuff that you don't think about. And then when it happens and you're like put to the test of like, okay, what do I do? Yeah. Um, Cause yeah, I had to move to Louisville, Kentucky and that's where the training was. So very far away from my home and anyone that I knew. That's Ohio Valley, um, right? Yes, yeah, OVW. Mm -hmm. But everybody, you know, would go out. I didn't go out, I didn't have a fake ID. So it's miserable, <laughs> like it was so awful. <laughs> it was such a hard year. Um, but it was great because I got to learn so much down there. Um, and so I was, I was glad that I went there and that I trained there and that I was given the tools um, to come up and, you know, into the WWE. Although once you got into WWE and you still weren't of age, couldn't you just like walk up to bars and be like, hey guys. Uh Kentucky, they were, I feel like they knew, like they knew who I was and they were just like, we're just going to mess with her because she, who she is, you know? And there were so many times I'd be like, don't you know who I am? I'm Kelly Get Like such a 19 year old, like, I like thinking, right? Right. And I think back and I was just like, what a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's watching this right now will see this Kelly Kelly and then this one in the background here. <laughs> This, this is a, uh, it's like, it's like double for you here. Uh, yeah, I That's know. That's Kelly, 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 Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. K, K threes. <laughs> Who came up with the name? Um, so Vince came up with the name actually, uh, uh the first episode of, um, of ECW, it was going to be Kelly. And cause he had given me a list of names, you know, of how many, um, uh, or like there was 15 names and. Pick a name that you like, right? Okay. So I was like, okay. Um, and so I picked Kelly because I thought it was cute. And I think there was a Barbie named Kelly because I couldn't be Barbie. So I was like, okay. And then I guess Vince had seen an episode of Cheers. And the girl's name on it is Kelly. And uh, her boyfriend in it did a song called Kelly, 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 Kelly. And so in Vince's mind, that's how it came <laughs> To be, so. I feel like if you debuted today, Barbie Blank is a I, that's great wrestling what I name. I wanted so, and they're like, no, we can't trademark it, and it was a whole thing. But that is a it's a far better. Not that Kelly Kelly is a bad name, but Barbie Blank. I know. I agree. Is Kelly <laughs> Kelly trademarked? Yes, it is. Oh. Yeah. So when you go to do signings, you're Barbie. I'm. I'm. Barbie Blank, formerly known as... Right, FKA. Yes. <laughs> you have to put the FKA in there. <laughs> so what, what do you sign the autograph as? I usually will just do Kelly Kelly. Okay. Unless they ask for, hey, can you sign both? I don't know. Oh, all right. So. so with yesterday being your 13-year anniversary, mm -hmm. all these people were tweeting these things at you. Were you seeing some memories and going, oh, I completely forgot about that? Yeah. Oh, so many in ECW that like... Because I feel like Vince wanted to kind of like make sure that never was talked about again. <laughs> um, because of what I was doing at 19 years old, like this exhibitionist and this whole thing, I think I look back and I'm just like, oh my gosh, my poor parents, number one. Like what I put them through when I first started, I could only imagine. Um, so stuff like that, I, I'll see pictures of and when I had to do the dances. 
That was rough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when that was first pitched to you, oh. though, were you just like, I'm happy to be here? Yeah, that's basically what it was. Like, I told Paul Heyman actually called me and he was like, We have this idea and it's this gimmick and you're going to come out and you're going to do like this, t- like, strip tease and then your jealous boyfriend's going to come and like wrap you up in a towel. And like, number one, I have no rhythm. So this is not going to be good. <laughs> I was like, I was a gymnast. Like, I just, like, I'm typical white girl. Like, you know, and Vince is like, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll show you. I'll teach you the moves. <laughs> I was like, well, whatever I got to do to get my foot in the door, this is it. So my first day, I remember uh, Triple H, um, Vince were all in the room. And they were just like, all right, these are just the basic moves that we need. And I'm like sitting there. This is, like I'm watching Vince McMahon, who I watched when I was like 13 years old, and just like idolized. And I'm just like, and he's like got a chair, and he like swings his jacket around. And it's, oh my god! I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm there. If anyone could be a fly on the wall in this right now, but it was it was great. It was it was really um, definitely a great memory of, of that and how I started. And uh, and the funny thing is, is so I go on, and it's we're on live television. My first night. We rehearsed hours with this chair. How are they going to? The prop is the chair. I walk on the stage. There's no chair. Oh no! And I was like, Oh my god! I stood there for a good few like seconds, and I was like, I guess I'm just gonna have to just dance. Like I don't. Oh, it was so awful. And then I get to the back, and Vince is like, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, but you did so good. You you took it on the fly. Like you took it on the fly. I was like, Yeah, I guess. <laughs> How long um, after that, the Extreme Expose, from there, did you start to get treated like an actual wrestler? It took, I mean, it took a good year. I mean, for people to finally, like, take me serious and, and actually let them, you know, the WWE, WWE let me wrestle, um, you know, because they, they wanted to make sure I was ready, that the fans were ready to see it. Because um, I feel like if they, when they start to push people down, you know, push wrestlers down their throats, like Mm -hmm. the fans, Mm -hmm. the fans don't like it. And it's like, they can feel that you're like getting pushed onto them. And for me, I always wanted to wait until it was my time. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be, you know, pushed down their throats like some of the other diva search winners or something like that. Um, I wanted for my time to come. And I knew my time was going to come. So I was like, I was, you know, I I knew I had many years. And I was very young and I was able to kind of watch and like study a lot of girls and and just kind of be my own character. Because Vince was like, you just go out there and be you. Mm. And so that's what I did. And fans just over the years really got behind me. Yeah. You're one of the most popular divas of all time. (laughs) Thank you. It's true. When you you won the Divas Championship that night, Mm -hmm. it was power to the people. Yeah. Was that, I mean, it's wrestling, right? Was that, was that a work? Okay, so no, we are all we what? Go, no. I, this, maybe they knew, maybe Vince knew, but our so uh, Fit Finley is our trainer or was our um, producer who put, who put our matches together, and Brie was the champion, and it was like me, Eve, and Beth, mm-hmm. whoever the fans picked to go against her. So we all had to learn different matches. So Brie had to learn three matches that day, and just and whoever's name was called to go out. She had to know, remember the match. Wow. It was very nerve wracking for her. I felt so bad. I was like, I don't know how you're doing, I don't know how you're gonna do this. Yeah. Because it was like, they gave us a good amount of time. I think we had a good like five minutes. Which is crazy that. Television. But it's crazy that that was considered a good amount of time. Right, because now the women are getting like 20 minutes. Right. And... Yeah, you were like right on the cusp of like the mm. give divas a chance thing. Yeah, yeah. Would it be, you know, how much different would it be for you now if you were still wrestling? I, well, I came back. I did the Royal, first ever Women's Royal Rumble. Yeah, of course. I did uh, the first women's ever pay-per-view. And it's just, it's it's very different. It's, I don't know, there's just a lot more girls and it's a lot. Um, these girls are just, they are really giving it their all. Like they do not, get, they are jumping off tables and ladders and chairs and like, you know, just stuff that, when I was there, could have never imagined that we would ever have the chance to do. And I just admire it so much. And I, I praise these girls for what they're doing right now because I don't know if I could come back and do half of what they're doing. Of course you could. I mean... 
<laughs> maybe, maybe. But... Do you have any uh, plans or hopes to come back and wrestle full time again? No, uh, not full. I don't think I could do it full time because it's a lot. I mean, you're on the road 300 days a year. Yeah. And, you know, it gets to be a lot. But I, I would definitely come back for a run or two. Um, I, I miss the fans. I miss performing. You know, I love doing what I did and. Oh. There's nothing like getting out there in front of that crowd, oh my gosh. right? No, it's the most amazing feeling that you'll ever get. Walking through the curtain and just having all those people chant your name, and it's just like the best. So, <laughs> if someone's watching this and they're just a wrestling fan, mm -hmm. what have you been doing since we last <laughs> saw you? Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. So, I retired in 2013. And nothing like retiring in your 20s. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then I was on a reality show on E! called WAGS mm -hmm. for four years, and that was really fun. Do more people recognize you from WAGS or from WWE? Well, you know what's funny is that the men recognize me from <laughs> WWE and yeah. the women recognize me from WAGS. So yeah. it's good. I have that, uh, you know, that mixed. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. What's, it's good. What's more scripted? Reality TV or WWE? I mean, I think that's why I was so good at the script <laughs> TV because I was like used to wrestling and like having, you know, just yeah. knowing what you got to do on the fly. And when you're given like, okay, this is, you know, we're not going to give you what to say. We're going to kind of just put it in your hands and you just take it. So <laughs> that's why I had a lot of fun with the reality yeah. TV because I was able to use a lot of that, what I learned. Wrestling. So what else have you been up to? So I did that and then I've just been doing like guest appearance spots on like soap operas um, Which is really fun. I'm starting to get into the acting kind of the acting bug a little bit um, I'm I Signed with a lot of fashion brands on Instagram. That's that's of, the new world. It's crazy how yeah. much it's taken off too, you know, and I love doing that I mean I started as a model so you know, it's kind of second nature, I guess. The crazy thing is you could probably make as much money, if not more, just doing influencer stuff. A million stuff. percent, yeah. Yeah, which is, it's a whole new world it that is. we're living in. It is, it, but it's great. And then I also do a lot of like Comic Cons. I, I do a lot of signings. I probably do at least uh, twice a month. Wow. Signings all over. And those, I love doing those and I love meeting the fans. And uh, it's so great, you know, just having, like especially the little girls when they're like, Oh, Kelly, I so you know, we used to watch you, I want to be like you when I get older. And you're just like, oh, that makes like <laughs> makes me feel like what I do is, you know, there's a purpose and it makes, you know, it's it's really nice. That balances out the creepy guys who yes, are like exactly. I've loved you forever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Sign my arm, please. Oh, really? Oh my goodness, yes. What are is that is that the strangest thing you've signed? Um, yeah. Or like they want me to sign like their chest. Oh, guys, uh, come on. Uh, sometimes I'll be like, I'll sign your hand. Like, you know, <laughs> let's, let's try to middle a uh, balance here or we can happy medium. What's the number one thing that fans want to ask you about? If I'm ever going to come back. And okay. <laughs> the number one question. Because when, when I tweeted this out and you retweeted yeah. it, so many people wanted to ask about the edge match because you're the only uh, woman in WWE history to defend the World Heavyweight Championship. That match, oh my goodness, I guess I guess That, <laughs> along with winning the uh, championship, was one of my favorite matches because there was, all these pre there was all this pressure on it. Like, there were so many different things that were happening. Like, you know, then I was going to get fired, and then, so it was right. like all this stuff, right? So, before we went out, I, I love Layla and Michelle, and I told them, I like, I said, kick the living shit out of me. I want to be, cause I had, cause when I get fired, I am gonna have to cry. Mm. And so I was like, I wanna be able to hold all of these feelings inside and just the second she says it, I wanna just be like, <gasps> and so they, I mean, I probably blacked out at one point. Like they just gave, they gave me all they could, but it was great. I wanted it that way. Uh, I wanted the fans to be, to feel bad. I wanted the fans to think, oh my God, there's no way in hell Kelly's going to win this champion. Like, there's yeah. no way. So when we won, um, it was really cool. And then how Vicky came out and fired me. And, you know, and, but, and Michael Hayes was like, right before, he's like, Kelly, I need you to effing cry. I need you. I need you. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, okay. So I'm feeling all this pressure from every direction, but uh, it went really well and I was really happy. So with it. where did you go to when you have to cry? Because I don't, I don't think I could cry on command. I, I was in so much pain. 
Oh. I was in, literally in so much pain. I got to the back and I had ice packs everywhere. I was like, oh, it was rough. But you cried different tears after you won the Divas Championship. Yes, that was happy tears. <laughs> was <laughs> that, that was coming from a place of like, <laughs> holy shit, I worked for five years yeah. and I worked so hard to finally get this. And it's boat and it's based on being voted by the fans. Mm-hmm. And that's ultimately why it wasn't given to me by a writer. It wasn't. It was up to the fans. And so that's why it truly meant a lot. Was that reaction written into the script? <laughs> no. No, they were like... Michael Hayes didn't you need you to <laughs> and cry for that one? No. He was like, just feel, you know, whatever you're going to feel. But you did have a... Did you have a promo planned out for that? No. So they wanted me to get on the mic and they wanted me to thank, you know, power to the people because that was what they were doing. It was yeah. about... Um, so I just... People power. Know, people power. Power to the people. And, and doesn't... I mean, isn't that kind of coming full circle? Because wasn't it John Laurinaitis that was the one that found you? Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, he found me. Yeah, uh, I was like doing modeling in Florida, uh-huh. uh, Venus Swimwear. Mm-hmm. So I was like in their catalogs. He had seen me. So he's like flipping through a catalog and he's yeah. like. Based something like along those lines. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I made it much more simple than it really is. <laughs> and from there, do they call your agent? Yes, yeah, so they called my agent. And my agent was, you know, called me and he was like, hey, do you have any interest in WWE? And I was like, yeah. I mean, I used to watch it with my dad for years um, and I loved it and yeah and they were like okay well they want you know want to to try out so I was like okay so the trial was in Atlanta and I trialed for a week and it was rough I mean they were like me I ran the ropes 500 times I had to take back pumps like 500 times at one point I was like about to pass out because I was just this is but they wanted to see if I could handle it, and they mm. wanted because they weren't used to training mod- models. Like they, that was their first. I think me and Alicia Fox was like their first kind of experience with models mm. and kind of molding them into wrestlers, and you know, their kind of poster child. Was there like maybe some resentment from people who had wrestled in the Indies and come up through the <laughs> system? Yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot of um, people who were not happy about it. <laughs> Um, but all you can do is like, you know, I didn't, there's so much respect. You have to give so much respect for the people who have been there, who have worked, you know, for years to get to this spot. And I tried to come in as, as respectful as I could shake everyone's hand, you know, and just, you know, just kind of stand back too and, and don't be in anybody's way and keep my mouth shut. And, um, I did the best I could. And I, cause a lot of women, I think that's why they couldn't like stay, they couldn't stay around is because they didn't have the thick skin. Mm. Um, they weren't able to take it because um, it's a lot. Like it's a very male-dominated business, except especially back in 2006. You know, um, and me being so young, you kind of just take it on the chin and just keep it moving. Well, how did you deal with the negative response from fans that might have felt that way? The fan that was hard too, because I um, that was the start, I guess, of Twitter social media kind of thing. Was like yeah, when I started in ECW, and I just got so much hate, and I was just like, what? After every match or after every time I was on TV, I would look on my phone, and I was like, oh my gosh, you're you're terrible, you suck, you're a whore, you're the, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh my gosh, what? Um, and so you just take it after a while with a grain of salt, and. You just get used to it. And and as people got to see my character and they got to see the real me, I didn't have to deal with it as much. But That's yeah. a crazy thing to have to get used to. Oh, though. yeah. And that's why like a lot of these girls, like and, and, and like young Instagram models will ask, like, how do you deal with like all the hate or like when people are like I'm like everybody has an opinion. They're behind a computer, but at the end of the day, like you know what you bring to the table, you know who you are, like people like you. You know, I, if 500 out of one, you know, one person's going to say one negative comment. It's like, why? You know, so yeah. I feel like I had that, advantage, especially with my reality show, too. A lot of the girls took that really hard because a lot of girls were not liked on the show. Well, so. that, that's do you ever, <laughs> did you ever watch any of those episodes and be like, why did they edit me like that? I was very happy <laughs> with how I got edited because um, I was very aware. Like I knew when they were trying to feed us drinks and I knew, <laughs> like I was just very aware of everything and a lot of the girls were not. 
And they would just say these off the wall things, and I would just be thinking, oh, this is gonna be so bad against you. Like, oh, it's not gonna be good. Um, but I was very happy with how there was no, there was never an episode where I was like, oh my gosh, I, I hate myself in that. But knowing that, knowing, so. <laughs> you know, knowing that you went through that, would mm-hmm. you do another show? I would. I'd really enjoy it. I really enjoy, um, you know, the people, the fans getting to see kind of like my everyday life and kind of see what I do on a daily basis. And, um, you know, kind of life after wrestling and after WAGs. Um, so yeah. You, you could make a YouTube channel and have so many subscribers. I thought about it. Well, <laughs> if maybe. you do, everyone watching this right now will subscribe to you. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe, yeah. We'll see. If you, if you have any questions, I will answer them. <laughs> they might not be good answers, but... <laughs> okay. I will, I will, I will try to help out. That would be great. Are, do you go on a lot of auditions? Um, I do. I go on a lot of guest ones when they're looking for like guest stars and guest roles for like influencers or like athletic, like wrestlers or something, you know, stuff like that. Um, more comedic stuff. Cause I feel like it's, that's kind of my forte. I'm not trying to like go and do a big drama and, you know, cry, <laughs> but we all know, you know, I could do it, but, um, yeah. 13 years ago, you probably wouldn't have thought you'd be where you're at now. If you look ahead 13 years, where are you going to be at 45? Oh my goodness. Where are you going to be at 45? <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully married with babies. <laughs> you, have, you have a fur baby. I do. Your dog's the sweetest dog. She is. She's over there past hour. Right oh, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> She's very entertained. So yeah. I mean, do you, how far ahead do you look? Um, you know, I, for me, I like to take things a day at a time. And this is like, this has always been for the last two years has been my motto. Like if I start to look too far, I, it's just so just anxiety and stress. And so I just live every day, you know, and I take it as it comes. Um, but I've always wanted a family and I've always, that's always been my dream. Um, so yeah. There's no reason that can't happen. No, no. And then you can make a YouTube show <laughs> about like, it. There you go. I think people would love to see that. Pregnant Barbie. I'm like, oh, yeah. Wow. What is your favorite feud that you had? My favorite feud? I Definitely Beth Phoenix. She, me and her had, I mean, she brought out the best in me. Uh, we had the best matches together. Um, our match at SummerSlam for the Divas Championship in the Staples Center it was just amazing. That, um, was, a, that was a violent were match. Were you there? I was not there. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm, I know. We're, I know. You were there. Because the live crowd was very, yeah. very, uh, very lively. Very excited. Um, is, is that like, is that the, one of the biggest ones people talk to you about? Um, that one, I would say when we did, uh, say extra, um, when we were in Buffalo, her hometown, it was for the Divas Championship. Uh, it was all the titles were on the line. Night of Champions? Night of Champions. That was rough because I had never been booed ever in seven years. And everyone was, everyone was like, look, this is best hometown. You are, it's going to get bad. It's going to be bad. Don't let, just try and like, you know, not let anybody, all their, you know, boos, all their, you know, things they're going to say to you, just, you know, take it out, take it out of your mind and just, you know, put all your focus into the match and, so I did, but it was hard at first, but it made for a really great match. And um, yeah, yeah, that was, that one was really, I think that one, yeah. Did you ever think about how you could be a heel, how you could get over? I, you know, I went to Vince one time and I was like, hey Vince, like I kind of had this idea. I was thinking about being a bad guy. He was like, okay, well let's see your bad guy face. <laughs> and so I was like. Is that it? Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna get ready. Okay. So I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I started laughing. And he was like, see, this is fine. Get out of my office. And I was like, ugh. He's just like, he's like, you're too, you're just, this is you, you know? And and he was like, every the fans love you. Like, why would you ever want to turn? I'm like, just because I think it would be cool, but, you know. By the way, can you tell us where your fountain of youth is? Because you oh, haven't. Oh, bless your heart. I'm, seriously. <laughs> you look exactly the same now oh, as when you gosh. debuted in ECW. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Is the secret just drink lots I, of water? I mean, and wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, my mom, I have to, I mean, my mom and my dad, like the genetics is just very blessed. You're, very you're blessed. the true genetic freak, not Scott Steiner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's real. I mean, he's up there though. He's. <laughs> 
stuff. I'm like, whoa, you look, he looks exactly the same too. So she's your parents stone age. So you're going to look great when you're their age. I mean, I look at my mom and I'm like, all right, you're, you look, and she's in her sixties and she's killing it. So <laughs> well, congrats to, to Barbie's mom. <laughs> Thanks mom. <laughs> Someone on Twitter wanted to ask about you had a very small program with Randy Orton and then it just disappeared after like one week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What okay. happened there? Um, I don't really know. I remember they wanted to do this storyline. I think had to do with Kane maybe too. Um, but I don't know. They had it. We started out and, and I guess... I, I don't know. It lasted for two weeks. Like and Randy was like, I used you and you yeah, know. and and I, you know, so poor me again, right? Like I always had to deal with like this big mean man, and I had to be like, oh, feel bad for me. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just remember they had we had the script one night, and he was gonna he was gonna say all these mean things, and I used you, and you were nothing to me, and blah 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 blah. And I think maybe there was, they were going to debut a guy, maybe, and have him come save me. I don't know. But they just kiboshed the whole thing. I don't really know what the point was. I mean, that was the same kind of thing when they brought in Karma, yes. too. I don't... They, uh, we were supposed to do this huge storyline together. And apparently, like, she was supposed to, you know, she was going to come and beat everybody up around me and then just save me. And then we were kind of going to, I guess, be, like, partners. Like, I was going to be, like, her tag team, like... I don't know how, but then, you know, they dropped the ball on that one. So I thought that would have been really cool. That would have been really Give fun. Divas a chance. I mean, That's... well, look at it now. They, they, I'm so proud and happy for, you know, where the women are at right now. So, you know, it took it took a few. It took us going through it. To... <laughs> when you finally did decide to leave, what was the real catalyst for that? Um, what do you mean? When, when you left WWE. Yeah. Was it like... You know, was it once something specific? Were you just done with it? Were you ready for something else? Um, you know, for me, um, I had never been hurt, luckily. I had never really been out, never taken time off. So from 19 until 26 years, so for seven years, basically, I was on the road straight 300 days a year. Yeah. Um, and I just, I was tired. My body was tired. My heart, and your heart has to be in it. Like you have to go out there every night and give it your all, or the fans can feel if you're, you know, they can feel if you're not into it. And it just got to a point where I was like dreading having to get on the plane and having, and I just, my, you know, I just wanted some time off at that point. And, and they, you know, they were very supportive of it. Um, they said, you know, take as much time off as you need. So I took a few months off. And then I kind of wanted to come back, but I wanted to come off, um, back part time. Mm -hmm. And they didn't, they were like, look, you know, where, where the, you know, where we were at back then, it was like, no, it's either all or nothing kind of thing. And, you know, but they were like, the door is always open. So, you know, if you ever, you know, want to come back or if, so it was good. Like we ended on good terms. There was no bad blood. Um, it was just my time. I was just ready to like be at home and like, um, you know, put focus into my family. And, um, so yeah, it wasn't anything bad that, that happens. So. As you sit here right now, after being in the ring for all those years, mm -hmm. does anything hurt on you now? Not really. Like my good. neck, like I, I, my disc and my neck are a little disaligned, but <laughs> I guess that comes with it, right? I'll get a few migraines here and there. Um, but other than that, no, I'm, I'm very blessed, very lucky. Because you talk to some wrestlers that have been doing this, you know, mm -hmm. for 20 plus years and they're like, oh yeah, my knees when I get out of bed or I know. my back. I know. It makes, I feel so, I talk to so many people and at these signings and stuff and like a lot of the guys can't like hardly, like they're like just lent, hunched over and yeah. it's just like, it's so sad, I, you know? And I asked a similar question like that to Mick Foley and mm -hmm. he goes, uh, you mean what hurts the most? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, cause every day I'm in Maine, but I know. Who do you still keep in touch with? Oh, so I just, um, Candace Michelle, it's so funny. She did a comedy, a little comedy bit. For like a charity thing that we went to the other night and she was so good um and then so i came to support her for that and then I, we actually randomly saw each other in sherman oaks yesterday um so oh, we, wow yeah so i talked to her i mean i talked to tour we're on a group message actually with all the girls um from our era because when ashley passed away um we all wanted to you know do something for ashley and for her daughter and we came together and we, you know, did this GoFundMe, which has raised a hundred thousand wow. dollars. And, yeah. and it's just, it, it, 
It gives me goosebumps because that, you know, we never thought we would, we're, you know, we were just like, we're just going to throw this number out and we're just going to hope and pray and, and we want to do whatever we can. And so we're all on this master's. There's like 20 of us. So it's like what? Lillian, oh my Melina, God. Jillian, Tori, Candice, Crystal, Layla, Beth, uh, Michelle, like every girl from that era is all on it. You must so. get notifications all oh, day. all day. All day. Square, it's like it's labeled squared circles. Ah. Or, yeah, squared circle girls or With something. With an emoji? There's got to be yeah, an emoji. Yeah, there's an emoji. Uh -huh. which, yeah. which one? I'm sure I probably have like 10 right now on there from them. But um, yeah, so... I, t I like to, you know, keep in contact with, and we see each other a lot at these signings too. So it's like a reunion every time we get to see. Each so other. where's the next place people can see you? Um, I will actually be uh, signing at the Wrestling Guy store here, right outside of California or um, right outside of LA. Oh, okay. Uh, the twenty third, from I think ten to two. This will this will be posted before then. So there you go, guys. <laughs> and yeah. then um, I will be in Jacksonville, Florida, for River your hometown. City Con. Yes. And then I'm throwing the first pitch at like the minor league uh, baseball team there, so uh -oh. that's exciting. I'm actually I'm good. I'm I threw a, a first pitch at an Arizona Diamondbacks game, and I I did well, so I'm not worried about it. So this okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no nerves. There's no what is it? Who was it? Fifty Cent? Who did the? Oh my god! No, no, no Fifty Cents here. <laughs> um, and then I'm going. Uh, I'm doing a Comic Con July 26th through the 28th in London. And oh, there's a lot of UK people watching this. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that, please come out and uh, say hi, please, 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 please. Um, tell, them, tell, tell Kelly that you saw this interview. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Kelly Barber. What am I supposed to call you? I mean, you, you know, whatever you feel. K squared? K squared. <laughs> yeah, K2. <laughs> if you were to come back now, who would you want to have a match with? Mm, Charlotte. Definitely Charlotte. Right to the top. Yeah, I mean, she's it. She just has it, like you know, and and her, just with her mic skills, with her athleticism, and her being a gymnast too, and having that background, and you know, Rick being her dad. She just inherited so many amazing things from him, and she. It's so crazy because when I first met her, she had no. She didn't want to wrestle. She was like good. She was, you know, just. Like graduated college, I think. It was volleyball, right? Yeah, she was not, had no intentions of being a wrestler. And so a few years ago, she just was like, I'm going to do that. And she's killed it. And it's just so exciting to watch her. She's very, very uh, exciting to, to see and watch. And her uh, matches with Becky are, are epic. So This has been epic. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you. Where can people find you? At the Barbie Blank on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the Barbie Blank. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't already, please uh, click subscribe. <laughs> we, we talked about <laughs> we talked about the fur baby. Oh my God! Wow. <laughs> so this is uh, Bambi. Bambi and Barbie. That was really fun, so <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you, that was really fun. I, I had a great time. So if someone's not subscribed, um, can, you, can you just tell them to subscribe? Subscribe, please. Our interview is amazing, so you're gonna wanna subscribe. You have to. <laughs> Bambi? Bambi says so. <laughs> <laughs>